Ever wondered what would happen if you mixed Ali G with the Weimarked? Well, it's the Walther P38 Gold Edition. And I've got number one of only 1,200 made. Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Today we have another comment-provoking bling pistol. It's a limited edition Walther P38 from the boys at Umarex. You can never accuse them of not being prepared to push the envelope in an attempt to try and meet everyone's tastes. It is quite obvious they won't please everyone with this gun, or with one gun on its own, but they are trying to do it by bringing out a whole range of different guns and finishes, and it's that attitude that makes this sport so varied. Well done guys. Anyway, on with the review. I've reviewed the P38 before and I've reviewed nickel and gold finish guns before also, but this is a first and it feels more like a gun from an old James Bond film rather than a piece of history. Other than the colours, it is a pretty much a faithful replica and is made of all metal apart from the plastic grips and I can't help feeling it would have benefited greatly by some different grips but it does add to the colour scheme. The main body is silver or nickel and the barrel, trigger, hammer and ancillary parts are all gold. The dropout 20 round BB magazine is also silver coloured metal and feels very well made and durable. Loading this is made easier by the lock open spring loaded method. You will need to hold your finger though across the back when loading BBs as they will have a tendency to fall straight out if you don't. When you're done simply return the spring and you're loaded. Gassing up requires the removal of the magazine and then lift off the left side of the grip slot in your CO2 and then tighten up with a built-in screw top. Return the grip and your magazine and you're all set. This is a blowback gun with a lovely action and feel to it. The accuracy is pretty good too, even from simple open fixed sights. Power wise, that's not too shabby either. 411. A kick to it, this one. Going up standard steel is at the moment, PBs. Three ninety six, three ninety one. As I say, it's cooling. I can feel it. It's still respectable for a blowback. Further walking round, the barrel is recessed for realism 
and the safety is on the left hand side is also excellent with a solid and definite action to it. One thing to point out the P38 is also field strippable but be careful if you do because the springs inside have a tendency to shoot out and there is a very specific and fiddly way of getting them back together. So I wouldn't make a habit of it. I certainly haven't bothered with it on this one. Unless, of course, you feel the need to clean it. Sum up time. I'm kind of at a loss with this one. I'm a real fan of the historic CO2 pistols. And they are immensely collectible. Especially this one, which is a limited edition. And I loved the Colt SAA 45 Gold Edition. But the jury is still out on this one for me. The quality is excellent, but it feels more Monsieur Scaramanga to me than Third Reich. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. But whatever you think, it's got to be hats off to Umarex for daring to make these.